In this video, we'll see some tricks in Java. Not a, now, this is a, not exactly a trick, but uh, you can do some uh, weird stuff. Now, what exactly this means is, let's say I want to print hello. So I will say s out and hello or hello world. Now, my condition here is I don't want to use this semicolon after this statement. That means I want to print the hello without using this semicolon at the end of print ln. Now, if I remove the semicolon, obviously you will get an error, right? Now, that my question to you, you have to print this without using semicolon. So, you can pause this video, you can open your NetBeans and try it out. So, once you, once you complete with your, uh, or once you tried, if you got success, come back to this video and you can see my logic. So, I will, I will recommend just pause the video, do it and come back. Now, since uh, after this, you will come back. Uh, let's let's see how to do it. Now, it, it directly is not possible, right? It's because if you miss a semicolon here, obviously it will give you an error. But let's say how many uh, what are the functions available in uh, in this uh, out out object? Now, if I go to this print ln uh, method, now print ln returns void. If you see, it is a void method, void return type, right? Now, let's say. Uh, in C, in in Java we have one more thing called as printf. Now this is what we have used in C programming, right? So we can say hello world. Without uh, let me just go to now printf. Now if you go to printf, printf returns something. We can say printf returns print stream, right? So what I can do? What if if I use a if statement? Now if whenever you talk about if, if always needs something. Right. So what I will do, I will say, I will pick up this content from here, or this line from here, x, and in, in, in if condition we don't require a semicolon. And what we can check, if it returns null, that's it. We will do something here, but no, not required, right? We can just delete this part. The main thing is, this statement will execute, it will return an um, object of, or instance of print stream, will verify is it as null or not, doesn't matter, obviously it will give you a, a false value, right? And it will come out. Important thing is we are executing hello world. If I run this code now, you'll be getting hello world. It's that simple, okay? So this is one of the trick you can do in uh, Java. Uh, 